Hi guys, this is Jesse. Uh, I was going to show you guys how I ended up setting my uh, my uh, dual exhaust propane flamethrower, um, the way I set it up electrical wise. Uh, I'll be showing another video on the propane side here right after this. So anyways, uh, for demonstration purposes, this is hooked up uh, right to my battery, positive and negative and so on, just so I can show you guys how it actually works. Um, anyways, we're going to start with the lead wire, the positive wire. I went straight on to my ignition. Um, you can go direct battery and, and uh, bypass the ignition, but I wanted my ignition first thing. Um, so anyways, I went from battery to ignition to uh, whatever switch you guys want to use there, but I'm just using a push button. happen to have it on the, on the dash of my vehicle. I push the button, it ignites the spark plugs, and it also turns on my uh, propane uh, fuel um, valve. So anyways, got it all in tied in together. I want everything to turn on simultaneously, spark plugs and uh, the uh, propane valve. So anyways, you just tie on to here. That's what I did and went over to my propane uh, switch uh, in the back there. So anyways, for this purpose or for this deal, I'm going to just show you the electrical side. So anyways, we're going from the switch um, over to the condenser uh, bracket. And this is going to be found most likely in your trunk so that's going to be further on down the line for sure this is going to be up towards the front of the car um, so anyways coming off the switch you kind of splice into this wire that goes to the bracket in 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 the trunk area so you splice off of that go to your relay to number 30 spade and i got it marked on here that wire is going to go to number 30 spade and to the condenser bracket so that's pretty easy you're just going to tie into it and go to your bracket and then we're going to go um, to the top of the condenser here um, you're going to come off of that a couple of different ways but first of all we're going to start with this one you're going to come in through here and that one's going to go back up to the front of your vehicle again to or back to the relay so you're going to have two spades that are tied in together which is 85 and 87 a right here and right here you can see they're coming out and they're tying on to this wire coming off of the condenser uh, wire so again you're tying in two spades 85 and 87 a together to this particular wire here again this goes towards the front of the vehicle up underneath the dash somewhere so um, here's two wires and then you're going to come off of this with another wire um, I happen to have this didn't really want to do that but um, what we're going to do there's a porcelain or ceramic insulator that's got two spades on it I don't happen to have an extra one so I just kind of um, you they got two spades one's going to go here and then the other one is going to go obviously on your other spade right here and then this one is going to go to the positive on the coil so again you're kind of splicing off of not splicing yeah well I'm not sure what you call it but anyways you're coming off of that with this third wire and then you're coming back out here with the other spade and then to the positive pretty pretty basic pretty easy type of stuff so um just like that anyways enough of that one so on the negative side you're going to come back and go to spade number 86 got it written down here 86 to negative of coil or coils i got two coils so i'm just doubling up on everything or tapping off some of these wires to the other side to the other coil so anyways um 86 and then i went battery direct um in my car so that's my ground and the same thing kind of the same way i've got it set up right in here so um again negative to 86 to your battery ground that's basically all your wiring really um so i've got this set up right now um i'm grounding it as you can see so i can show you guys how it actually works i'm gonna have to hook up these two wires real quick so hold on one sec okay so i happen to have those two wires hooked up back again just so it can uh, 
ignite this spark plug again remember you you've actually got to set them up here but i just connected them with a the clamp real quick i connected my ground clamp this by the way spark plug is going to be grounded onto your muffler again i'm just doing this to show you um, that it does work i'm gonna go ahead and hit my switch and then there's my spark so again it's not overly well it, not too complicated anymore it took me a while to figure all this stuff out so um that's the way you want to set it up i do happen to have something i want to show you a couple of graphs real quick so hold on one sec okay here's a couple of graphs that i wanted to show you that i built or that i that i wrote out here anyways that kind of shows you um an illustration again it shows you number 86 it shows you number 30 they wouldn't normally they'd be closer together i just wanted to show you um how i've got it battery and then ignition switch and then 30 and then how it taps off to the brackets on the condenser and then 87 and 85 have to be run um, after the condenser and so on so um, you can piece it together pretty easily the resistor is in there as well um, so it kind of shows you pretty easily how it's set up for a two um, coil system so um, another one that I wrote it, it's actually written down um, you can actually take a look at this as well it's every step is right in there so um, pretty easy to follow the instructions and um, anyways it's it's pretty basic pretty easy at least on paper at least I hope it'll show you guys exactly what I did in order to make this system work out um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop on this one I'm gonna go ahead and do the propane one how I uh, did that in conjunction with this to make it all work together so anyways, um, I'll be with you shortly. Okay, here's my 48 Dodge. I guess I'm going to take a little bit of time to show you the inside of the trunk, the way that I've got it hooked up. So anyways, here we go. Uh, the back of it here, here is my coil. There is my resistor right there the porcelain one uh, ceramic whatever it is how it's tied in together um, there is my um, little condenser uh, kind of everything's taped up and everything guys I trying to make it as safe as I possibly can obviously and then it goes down to the spark plug from there and um, on the propane side and it's kind of more electrical tell you the truth because there's the wires that go on to my propane uh, um, valve I guess I want to call it I got a little nice or a little uh, electrical deal just so I can turn it off and work on it if I have to um, anyways that's wired on to the to the toggle switch or the push switch I happen to have up at the front there so this will turn on as soon as I press the button as well as ignite these spark plugs um, this setup here too I can test it with my compressor make sure there's no leaks in my propane lines and so on i did find one and uh anyways good thing i set it up this way with a quick connection and and so on so everything is kind of uh, all my wiring um is in the sheaths and everything um here's my other one set up the same way there's my condenser and then the other porcelain deal is right beside it and so pretty basic setup so i'm going to show you the front so here is my uh, deal that I use and this right in here will um, light up my spark plugs back there it's just a switch push button but uh, anyways um, and also it will open up the valve with the propane uh, so it does everything just by pushing this spark plugs and um, lets the gas propane um, do its job back there so again everything is operated off of this switch right in here so um that's my vehicle hold on a sec so this is my vehicle 1948 dodge i'm not here to show off my car i'm just 
um, nothing special anyways I just wanted to show you the propane side of it they're nice and blue you know they're working spit out about a couple of feet at least so anyways guys there you go um, hopefully that electrical side will help you out a little bit and uh, we'll jump over to the propane side later